on the trending documentary that is uh, made by Al Jazeera concerning what they are calling the God Mafia in which Zimbabwe is mentioned. We take great exception to this piece and to this documentary or documentaries. First of all, 21 years ago, sanctions were imposed against Zimbabwe purely because the United, the United States, the United Kingdom, and European Union believed that President uh, Mugabe at that time had made a mistake to repossess land or to do certain things, and they imposed sanctions. They have a right to impose sanctions on anybody they want. But Zimbabwe cannot sit and say, now that we have sanctions against us, let us die. The reason why a president is elected whether war comes, he must perform. Whether there is peace, he must perform. Whether there are sanctions, he must perform. Whether there are no sanctions, he must make sure the economy is performing. That is the responsibility of the president of Zimbabwe. And I think that the issue of dealing with our natural resources remains our responsibility as Africans. We can decide to do with our resources as we wish, as long as we are serving the interest of our people. We therefore disagree with the spirit behind these documentaries, and we do not think they are in good faith. We don't see anything in those documentaries that make whether President uh, of Zimbabwe or Prophet uh, Angel, Hubert Angel, that makes them be people that have broken the law of the land. We think that what we have watched is an attempt to match sling individuals and to destroy their names and their reputations, and it's unfortunate. We must also understand that Russia has also had sanctions against it. We would like to see Al Jazeera do another damning uh, documentary about President Putin and Russia, because the dollar, the use of the dollar has been withdrawn from them. I mean, they have been withdrawn from certain uh, money markets and the oil, and people have, uh, have uh, sanctioned it against the sale of oil to other countries to paralyze it. But President Putin has put in place his own measures, starting to use his own money, the ruble, against using other people's money. If it was an African country, it would be talk in Washington, it would be talk in Germany, it would be talk in London, it would be talk everywhere else that they are breaching the, the, the sanctions uh, that have been put against them. We don't agree with that. The day we are going to see damning uh, documentaries on these countries, including Dubai, where all this activity takes place, how can there be a documentary about the God of Zimbabwe without another documentary on where the God of Zimbabwe goes in Dubai? I do not understand that. So as a Pan-Africanist, our fight is not against anything, but we must fight for our survival as a people. And so we take great exception to all that which is being said. As to the church, I encourage you not to demonize Hubert Angel for playing the role that he's playing. As a matter of fact, the church around Africa must start to engage in becoming a solution to the complex problems that our countries are facing. Hubert Angel finds himself in a place where he could use his gifts and his commitment to God to hear God and find solutions to the problems that somebody else may not find. And here we are not supporting illegalities. If there's any illegalities, Zimbabwe has courts of law, which don't exempt any politician, any civil servant. They can really go there and be dealt with. But we think that as a church, just because we do not support each other, does not mean we use this opportunity to demonize uh, Prophet Hubert Angel. So I think it is important for us to understand that he's becoming a solution. He's not the first one to do this, and he's not the first one to be misunderstood. He's not even the first one to be demonized. Joseph of the Bible comes from Israel, 
where they worshipped only one God and then ended up in Egypt where they wish, worshipped multiple gods. He put on the robe of, of an ungodly king Pharaoh, the ring of ungodly Pharaoh, and married the, the daughter of the, you know, the, the, the priest of On, a strange god. But the mission that he was doing there was to ensure that he saves a generation of people that could have died from hunger. God placed him there to become a solution. And that is why today we celebrate. Because, because Joseph was able to withstand the ungodly wind around him, he preserved the line of Judah out of which came David, Jesus, and Christianity. So I think that for the church it is important for you to understand that it's not criminality when you are not breaking the laws of the land, but you are trying to answer the question that is it. The ungodly wind around him, he preserved the line of Judah out of which came David, Jesus, and Christianity. So I think that for the church it is important for you to understand that it's not criminality when you are not breaking the laws of the land, but you are trying to answer the question that is in your country. That's what we are called for. So for us, we do not look at this documentary as being in good faith. You must understand that the international community has got its own way it thinks about Africa. So to the Africans, let us be careful. We are an endangered species. And if we, Zimbabwe is attacked today for using its own God in the way they want to use it, I think that tomorrow it will be Zambia. Tomorrow, the other day it will be Malawi. The other day it will be Kenya. We must hold together. A country with sanctions must find a way to survive. And I believe Zimbabwe is doing whatsoever it's in its power to survive. So today I just wanted to address myself to the fact that this documentary or these documentaries are not in good faith. Until and unless Al Jazeera can do the same for all the countries of the world that are operating outside the international system by virtue of sanctions applied to them. So this is our position. We think that there's nothing in those documentaries that could criminal, criminalize uh, either the prophet angel or the president of Zimbabwe. We think that what they're trying to cure, as we say at law, is a situation where sanctions are biting away the opportunities of the Zimbabwean people. That's why a president is elected, and that is why he is president, and that is why he is doing what he's doing to normalize the economy of his country. We thank you.